morning. I'm swamped. Look at these. I'm swamped. <laughs> so I'm going to tear through these questions of yours. And uh, I'm, I'm trying not to go too fast. But I've got pages and pages and pages of these. So forgive me if I don't uh, get to you <laughs> uh, as quick as I can. Uh, and uh, like I said, always said that if you have a problem, a serious problem, call the clinic, okay? But uh, man, oh man, you guys are you guys are getting sharp. I love y'all, Cintron, brother David Blaine. <laughs> oh man, you know someone was asking me about fluoride, and uh, you know the Casey Anthony trial. They had this old guy. He was half senile, though. <laughs> he wrote books on autopsies and stuff. And what they found is that those people that were raised on city water that had a lot of fluorine in it, fluorides, uh, they were storing it. The body was storing this fluoride in the bones. Well, of course, that's going to be antagonistic to calcium. And uh, so uh, on an autopsy, when they cut the bones, they found a lot of fluoride. So th this just shows how toxic this is. And these dentists, they still, someone was talking about teeth and fluoride and stuff like that. And it's like, dentists gotta get, has to get with it now because their procedures are so toxic to begin with. Uh, and most people that don't move their lymph systems well, which is most of us, uh, all these toxins get stored in the, in the gums and stuff and continue to break down the teeth and the gums and then they blame fruit. <laughs> it's amazing. Minnesota School of Dentistry sounds like an advanced dentistry school because they're really looking into the acids. And uh, I really like that. That's, that's going to be good. So I don't know much about them. Let me go on with this because we have an awful lot of questions from you guys. And listen, I love you all. I tell you what. Uh, that person that said that they looked like I was losing weight, I love you the best. <laughs> uh, I tell you what. My life is one big, long stress. Oh. So let's take a look at this. Um, yeah, <laughs> this uh, nature path said this person needed whey protein. You know, I've spent 40 years watching the ebbs and tides of natural health. And it's funny. Everybody, all the practitioners skirt around the truth. They, they, they seems like they don't want to address the causative factors. They claim they do. But Either they're not educated properly in their naturopathic schools. I remember Southwest Naturopathic School. My sister went to them, and they had books from Dr. Wild. And no offense to him. He's a medical doctor, a good Joe, you know, big beard, everything. He looks good, of course. And now he's cutting all kinds of holistic videos. But he doesn't have a deep understanding of detoxification and the regeneration of tissue. You can see the medical influence into, into naturopathy in his works and his writings. And so uh, my sister called and, and, and uh, reamed him, and so they took his book off the academic scale. Uh, I don't think any medical doctor's book should be in a naturopathic school unless that medical doctor totally became a naturopath. A lot of medical doctors, uh, God bless them, you know, they, they come into naturopathy, but they carry some of this consciousness with them, and that kind of corrupts naturopathy. And a lot of naturopathic schools do not teach naturopathy. That's why I went to England. Naturopathy is a pure science uh, of, of chemistry and physics and applied science of chemistry and physics to the largest laboratory we have available. We don't have to have our own laboratories. We already have it. And so this is the problem that we have with all the re bogus research and all this stuff that's out there and just the consumption of millions and billions of dollars, probably trillions. So health is simple. And we were, I got a lot of your messages on the spiritual tapes. And I'm glad you appreciate that side. I uh, I think that's the most important side, actually, is you and uh, your, your awareness of who you really are at the highest level you can achieve. Uh, because the higher aware that you are of yourself, the more ecstasy and bliss you have. Because then the union of all life becomes obvious. 
as there's only the one. So it's amazing, you know. Uh, but uh, let me go on before I lose my place. But this, I like, like whey proteins and stuff. This is crap. This is dairy product type crap. I have a good medical doctor friend, and he knew I didn't like whey protein, but he would ran a hospital in San Diego, and then he, he wanted to get out of that. Now he has a really nice holistic center, but he uses a lot of machines and stuff, and not quite this level of detoxification, but that's okay, you know. He's a super, super guy, super, super uh, guy. And... Um, he started making health bars for health food stores uh, after uh, coming to my school and sitting here. He decided he didn't quite want to do this level of doing it, but that he started making, uh, and he used whey protein. He says, I know you don't like it. And I said, no, I don't like it. If you want to pump up, pump up on the greens. I, I'm not opposed to greens, uh, particularly to pump up with. If you take the uh, fiber out of there and alfalfa, an incredible green, why would you want more amino acids than that? You know, it isn't about, uh, you know, just super pocking the body with amino acids. You know, the bottom line with those is they break down in more acids. So, you know, you just, you don't have to overdo the amino acids. If you're building up and pumping up and want to big build muscles, then do it on the greens. And now you've got strong muscles. And then in a detoxification, you're not going to lose them. You don't lose strong cells and you detoxify. You lose your weak ones. That's detoxification. And I know that I probably have to spend some time and go back and talk about detoxification a little more. Uh, what you're going to experience, because someone had mentioned that. I'm getting some of you guys coming in here, and I love that. Um, I appreciate it. I get a comment from a lovely lady in California. She was in the other day. You know, I'll see if I can get to that question and stuff. I get so much here to go over. But I got a little extra time this morning, and then I'm just going to keep trying to get to these questions because there's just so many of them. But always understand that detoxification is very simple. Its main goal is the regeneration of tissue or cells. Uh, Today's obvious through that process is the genetic remembering of cells. Sounds big, fancy, but it, it is just uh, increasing cell awareness of its own potential, of what, it, what it's here for, uh, beyond what we see in this world. And that's the problem. If a lot of science looks very one-dimensional. And so uh, this is why they miss it. So when we get into quantum physics, and someone gave me a nice little uh, saying on quantum physics, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got to we got to be able to take us out of the the boxes, and so quantum physics does that. It's almost like a Zen uh, technique, you know. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we need that. We need that. We need that that nudge that there's 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 more. There it's bigger. Uh, there there's uh, more consciousness out there. So, uh, oh, and, and while I'm thinking about it, this. Uh, this uh, gentleman that wrote me about India. I love India. I probably reincarnated from there sometime, of course, but uh, I just love the consciousness of the Indian people. I, 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 I am saddened for the massive amount of poverty in that country, but I tell you what, there's nothing to wake up the senses like uh, Srinagar and, uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned Bombay and, well, change now, but uh, a lot of these places, I, I was going to spend about a half a year just trekking everywhere from the uh, Himalayas down to uh, Sri Lanka. And, and uh, I had out of body traveled and, 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 and reviewed all that so much, I didn't feel I need to take my physical body there. But it, it just intense place. Uh, my, my, I love Indian food, the spices, uh, vegetable korma. But, you know, the problem with a lot of these, you got the yogurts and you've got, uh, you know, things like this. And spices can overstimulate the mucosa. But, man, got to have Indian food once in a while. You know, and so, uh, you know, the, 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 the beauty of it and the colors and the smells, you're absolutely right, my friend. A very, um, uh, you know, uh, enlightening, very uh, uh, esoteric. Uh, someone asked me here about eating greens, like wild greens, like dandelion, dock, uh, plantain, nettles, cleavers. If I could get my herbs to you raw, fresh, boy, you'd have them. I have it raw and fresh in the um, Kim Metal, which is partially in cilantro, because you can get that raw pretty readily. But when you're dealing in clinical work like this, and you've got to have formulas year-round with herbs that you 
you can't pick year round, then you've got to do this. You know, it's just the thing we got to do. But it hasn't stopped the power of the herb. Isn't that beautiful? But raw herbs, man, I love them. Raw plantain, dandelion, comfrey. Everybody should have comfrey plants. Uh, comfrey, incredible. Hell with the uh, uh, the FDA. These guys are crooks. Stupid. Stupid. You know, I mean, it's just sad. But yeah, these are, yeah, anything wild, man, go for it. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, that's where we would be doing. I mean, we have, we have to use what we would do in the wilds and incorporate it with modern civilization. I do like to sit on toilets. You know, some people like to squat. Okay, but the older I get, a nice toilet is nice. Okay, so I do like some modern conveniences, but at the same time, I like to wrap myself in gardens and nature and flowers and beauty and plants. All hospitals should be filled with plants. All rooms looking out over the eyes of, 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 and gardens of beauty. And then shoved in with fresh juices and raw foods. Change of focus, right? Uh, you see, may I ask if, uh, if I juice these with fruit and add added water, uh, with this heal and uh, regenerate my kidneys, liver, endocrine glands? Absolutely, man. Cleavers, of course, great kidneys. Absolutely. Uh, plantain, lymphatics, uh, great for cleaning the blood, nettles, kidneys, uh, dandelion, uh, uh, leaf is the kidneys and root is the liver, but I love dandelion. Uh, just great stuff. I used to eat dandelion flowers growing up. Now this is a rather long one. Let's see here if I can cut to the chase here. This is a husband with a hernia repair issues. Um, uh, oh, one of the questions here, uh, do we have trouble shipping to Canada? And I've been asked this several times. We've been shipping our herbs to Canada uh, for uh, 30 years. We've never had trouble. It's, the problem with Canada is their customs co prices. It's just a sad thing that, that the customs costs are so high that it runs these prices of these herbs up so high. It's sad because Canada, great country, um, great people, and I hope they win the codex battle there. I know it's in the courts or it was. You folks cannot allow your government to incorporate codex. You will be shocked. Look at the gentleman from Sweden here. I'd love to get my herbs to you, bro, but Sweden, we can't get into Sweden. So somehow, I mean, there's ways to do it, uh, but just sad that governments have to suppress the people because I tell you, when these people start dying, they got to find some place to go to get well. Most of them are so constipated, they go allopathically and, of course, kill them. So even the wealthy, those that want to battle and control, you're going to get sick too, and there's only a few places to go to truly find your remedy, and you're trying to cut that in the bud. Amazing. Uh, so, no, we shouldn't have any trouble shipping there. Uh, do I get the tincture or the dried herbs? You know, if you have to buy, if you have to buy herbs in the country you're at, um, it, it doesn't matter to me. Tinctures, I love tinctures. Uh, remember, you want anything from mine's one to four, strong as you can get in, in your first uh, 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 distillation. Uh, one to five is, a, is a, where blessed herbs were had his. Uh, most on the market are one to seven. Distilled, I mean, uh, um, Nature's uh, Way used to be, uh, their company called me one time, uh, seven days distilled and a one to seven concentrate or something like that. It's like, oh. Oh, water, you know. No, uh, you want to get as strong as you can and fresh as you can and always organic or wild crafted. Your capsules should always be veggie caps. You want to find a company that really is concerned about your health. And... Uh,